Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. We're gonna start doing something a little bit different. Um, we hear all the time uh, that there is no such thing as a, as a good guy with a gun. And this year I wanna do my part in helping debunk that, that sometimes firearms do save lives. So what we're gonna be doing is every week for the year of 2020, we're gonna be looking at defensive gun uses in the news. We're gonna be seeing whether or not they would qualify as a defensive gun use. And then we're gonna tally up the states of which these uh, instances have happened. <clears throat> so some of them are going to be defensive gun uses, some of them aren't, some of them are going to be open to interpretation. Um, every single one is going to get sourced right down there in the comment section for everyone to check out and verify for themselves. I love comments, I love more information. Um, I'm mostly getting these from Reddit and my own search, so if you have any other ones, any other good lists that you know, send them my way, we'll sort through it. <clears throat> so, first off, we have suspected robber trying to steal a cell phone, shot by victim. Alright, where was this at? This is in California, so hospitalized after being shot by the robber. An argument between two men turned violent when one of the men attempted to rob the other of his cell phone. The robbery victim produced a handgun and shot the other man once in the upper body. Now, some people will argue, just give them the property. Just, just, just give them what they want and they'll be on their way and you don't have to do anything. Well, the issue is you don't know what they want, all right? You don't know if, you know, maybe you reach for your cell phone the wrong way. You don't know if, you know, maybe they want more than your cell phone. You, you don't really know. And your only option there is self-defense. Now, you, you don't know. God, I hate this. You don't know. You don't know someone's intention. They've already said that they're going to do horrible things. So it, they already show disregard for the law. They're going to show disregard for your life. So we got defensive gun use, California. <clears throat> so this one, police investigate two separate shootings on Raymond Road. This is January 1st, right? We're just January 1st. This one is in Mississippi. Um, <clears throat> we have one instance where it's pretty vague about what happened. Um, and then we have another one where police said a woman was inside her apartment when she heard someone tapping on her window and thought it was a intruder. Police said the man <clears throat> she was with inside the apartment fired a shot, hitting a man outside in the chest. The woman told police it was her ex-boyfriend. Um, we're going to put that as a defensive gun use. All right. You know, it, it's a little vague, but we don't know. Chances are. If he's an ex-boyfriend and he's supposed to be there, he wouldn't be tapping on the window. He'd be knocking on the doors. Oh, baby, come on, come out and help me. Chances are this was someone that didn't want to be there. This other one's very vague. We don't know. So we're going to count one defensive gun use. Uh, this one in Mississippi. Next one, trans woman, transgender woman found dead after D.C. shootout with guards, police say. Um, a vacant building. We had some private security come in, look around get in a shootout, not be able to find that person, come back later and then find this, uh, this woman dead. One of the big things is a lot of people when they shoot at police, when they come, they no knock right into their houses. You know, I don't know the police. I don't know their security guards. I don't, I don't know. You know, it's anyone can come busting in my door and say, this is the police, you know? So, um, this one we're not going to mark as a defensive gun use. We, we, we don't know enough information. Um, and we're going to, we're going to go on the safe side. So, we're not going to do that. Um, next one, fight breaks out, shots fired in downtown neighborhood, Las Vegas, Nevada. So police said a suspicious person entered another person's apartment and got into a fight with the resident. During the fight, neighbors came out in the aid of the resident and one of the neighbors had a gun and shot the suspicious man. Police said he sustained non-life threatening injuries. Um, everyone involved in the fight and shooting were taken to the hospital. At this time, I do not know that if any charges may be brought towards the people that is some quality reporting, Nikki Bowers. Quality reporting. But we're going to mark it up. Defensive gun use, Nevada. Kentucky woman fatally shoots son on New Year's Day. Uh, on New Year's Day. Right there in the title. Kentucky. The mother called 911. Well, here we go. Uh, Kentucky woman fatally shot her adult son on New Year's Day, January 1st. Authorities said the shooting occurred Wednesday night at a home near Nicholsville. News outlets report. Uh, questioned and released. So from the police, defensive gun shooting, Kentucky. So let's move on to January 2nd. Second, we have Guilford County man shoots person trying to break into his home. Deputies say, uh, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, person with gunshot wound, owner shot the suspect in self-defense. So there's another one, North Carolina. Security guard shoots man dead at Gall Ocean condo complex. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, it's a security guard. So assaulting another guard at a Fort Lauderdale condo high rise. 
A uh, man attacked a female guard at a security station. Uh, that's when a second guard who was on roving patrol came and opened fire. We're going to count this one as a defensive gun use. Um, this place had security, and this guy decided that this would be the appropriate place to not only come in, but to uh, attack someone. And this is with security. So imagine if this was a place without security and they really wanted to get there. Um, who knows what would have happened. So we're counting this defensive gun use, Florida. So a man fatally shoots ex-girlfriend in apparent act of self-defense. So 20-year-old man, woman and 20-year-old man suffer from gunshot wounds. Um, she and another man attempted to assault him at his home in Dublin. Sorry, but that's a defensive gun use. Was asleep when he awoke to banging at his front door. When the man opened the door, he was confronted by his ex-girlfriend and a man who was pointing a gun at him, according to Schmidt. The woman or male accomplice tried to assault the man, so he fired his own gun at them in self-defense as he fled his home. It is believed the male suspect fired at the resident as he fled, fled but the resident wasn't injured. Uh, all right, well, that's defensive gun use. Where is this? California. Teen shot, killed after fight over gun and home evasion. Uh, call to the home. Two males forced way into the home and demanded money. During the break-ins, occupants of the home said there was a struggle over a gun. Shots were fired before the suspect took off. Um, it doesn't really say who the gun belonged to, whether it was the intruder, whether it was the homeowner. Uh, either way, we're going to count this as a defensive gun use in Illinois. So, father shoots son after son stabs him, tries to shoot him, Fort Worth police say. This is some Jerry Springer type shit. A father shot his son in the arm Tuesday morning after the son stabbed him in the head. The man tried to shoot him with a shotgun, he said. The son, whose age wasn't provided, non-life-threatening conditions. Wow, stabbed in the head. Where in the head are you going to stab? Oh, no. Ow. Oh, defensive gun use, Texas. Ouch. Ooh. Man who threatened to kill New Year's Eve partygoers in Canton shot, killed by armed guests. All right, well, this is January 1st, so we got to go backwards. Uh, but that's all right. You win some, you lose some. 61-year-old um, Alan Bates of Plano, Texas, deceits of multiple gunshot wounds. Um, he was an attendee at a New Year's Eve party, came agitated with other attendees, became aggressive, and made threats towards a couple who were also visiting the residence. The couple chose to leave the party to avoid confrontation. Okay, that's fine. Um, they attempted to calm Bates down, and after he became aggressive and threatening other protagers, he was asked to leave. He went to his vehicle, retrieved a handgun, and walked back towards the residence while screaming threats to kill people inside. An attendee heard the threats, saw Bates repost the resident with a handgun. The attendee then armed himself with his own handgun. Uh, so this is an attendee. I don't think this is like the actual homeowner arming themselves. Bates entered the resident with the handgun displayed. In self-defense, one of the attendees shot Bates multiple times when Bates began entering the living room area, the living area of the residence. Uh, police recovered two handguns from the scene. Alcohol is believed to be a contributing factor. No shit. All right. Defensive gun use. Texas again. Lafayette, Indiana. Hotel clerk fire shot when thief threatens him with weapon. Um... The clerk had been called away from the front desk area to another part of the hotel. When he returned to the lobby around 3 a.m., he found a man and a woman trying to get into the register. The clerk yelled at the two of them, then chased them out of the hotel. One of the suspects stopped and raised a pair of bolt cutters above his head to threaten the pursuing clerk. Um, I can't tell if they were... Are they still in the hotel? Are they out of the hotel? I mean, once they're out of the hotel, you know, let them go. This is the clerk drew his sidearm and fired one and shot fired one shot at the man could not find any indication so couldn't find the bullet so it's probably in the guy oh there is also no evidence that the bullet struck the man with the bolt cutters and no one had showed up to area hospitals with a bullet wound after the shot they continued to run away the clerk did not chase them the two are believed to run off with the money um we're gonna go with defensive gun use but this is a poor use of defensive gun use so clearly they are in the uh, the retreat. They're not falling back. They're retreating. They're leaving. They're leaving the area. Um, you know, he, fine. You want to chase them? Cool. You want to do that for that money? Fine. But you stop at the door. 
Mm -hmm. They were gone. He should have left. Um, but we're still going to count it because then they did brandish a weapon, uh, and then he brandished his own weapon. So we're gonna we're gonna continue. We're gonna consider that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, six for uh, the second, with one going over to the first. Uh, let's move on to January third. January 3rd, we only have one, and um, we're going to caveat off this. I don't take any pride or satisfaction in, in these. I'm not rooting when it's a big number. I, it, You know, it's sad. People die. People get injured. People have their property taken. People will become victims, you know? And it, it, I just want to point out the fact that this happens. This, this, is, this happens. Not all of us can live in an ivory tower where we have private security in that case that doesn't even work like we saw yesterday or you know in the, in the place where we have adequate response time where we live in a nice neighborhood not all of us can afford that luxury so that's the reason i'm doing these videos is to point out that this stuff happens um this one here where are we at we're in detroit michigan intruder doesn't heed detroit homeowners warning get shot so attempted home evasion thwarted uh homeowner shot someone trying to get in his back door uh, you, you could have probably phrased that better. Um, watching a movie inside his home when he heard something. I heard a bang and I knew it wasn't the sound from the headphones. So I take the headphones off. And when I take my headphones off, I hear someone trying to kick in my back door. Uh, said so I called police, grabbed a rifle, went to the door. Said so a young man, said so a man was trying to cut his screen door. I yelled out, you about to get shot, get away from my door. It didn't bother him. He got even more relentless. I said, well, I got to get him before he gets me. So I fired a shot through the door. William said the intruder yelled, ouch, and said he was going to get his gun, but police arrived before he could do so. The intruder is at the hospital. We headed down to jail while he recovers from being shot. Um, believes that he had targeted his home before. Stole my lawnmower. Glad he's off the streets. You know, defensive gun use. What was he going to do when he got in? We don't know. So there's... One in Michigan. January 4th, man shot while attempting to rob a driver at gas station. 20 year old man in critical condition after police said he attempted, uh, attempted to rob someone at a gas station and the victim shot him. Uh, don't rob people. Defensive gun use, Indiana. Um, Squirrel Hill man chases after suspects following home invasion. Excuse me. Uh, chase after the victims. They kicked down his door, then robbed him at gunpoint. The, the victim told police he fired a shot and doesn't know if he hit anyone. Then he chased the suspects. Uh, then he chased after the suspects in his car before ending his pursuit. In his car, he got in the car and followed them. No, no. Still a defensive gun use. They busted down his door, robbed him at gunpoint. But what the fuck, dude? Like, excuse me. Sorry, YouTube. What the heck, dude? Like. No, like still defensive gun use. So we got one for Pennsylvania, but don't follow him. Don't follow him. Stay in, stay home. All right. Uh, man shot and killed by restaurant security guard in Montclair. This is in Illinois. A man was shot and killed by restaurant security guard in an armed confrontation uh, Saturday morning. The man, 40, was shot in the neck after the confrontation with security guard. Um, two response, two weapons were recovered. This is not the first time the shooting has happened at the restaurant. Um, defensive gun use, Illinois. Teen shot dead, another injured while trying to break into Tampa home. One teen was killed, another hospitalized after being shot by a resident of a home they were breaking into. The resident of the home, a man and his fiance, said two teens kicked in the screen in area of the back patio and got into their home. They said one was armed with a gun and made demands. During the encounter, the resident grabbed his legally owned gun and fired at the teens, hitting both. Both teens were transported to the hospital where one of them died of gunshot wounds. They located a vehicle with two teenagers inside and talking to the two, they determined they were most likely involved in the home invasion. All four suspects are aged 16 and 17 and attended one high school in Tampa. None of them have been charged yet. Defensive gun use. Columbus homeowner fatally shoots man he says confronted him with baseball bat. Um, confronted him with a baseball bat in his own home. 
Defensive gun use, Indiana. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five for January 4th. Moving on to January 5th. A mountain lion killed after attacking eating dog near Cascade. This is in Idaho. An Idaho Fish and Game officials killed a mountain lion in Idaho after the animal attacked a dog late Friday night. Um, neighbor found the remains of a shepherd mixed dog cached behind a house a few miles south of Cascade. A learner of the homeowner and Valley County Sheriff's Office. Officers from the agency Southwest Region Office investigated the attack. Um, they joined in a search for a lion by a houndsman, a local hunter with a mountain lion tag. The group found an adult male. Uh, not a defensive gun use. It would have been one thing if maybe they had caught the mountain lion in the act of eating the dog. But in this case, they were with the authorities. They went out, they found the mountain lion, and they put it down. We're not going to count that one. Two kill, two one wounded in shootout on far south side. South side Chicago, Illinois. Shootout left two people dead and two others wounded on far south side. Uh... 39-year-old man, 20-year-old man, and 27-year-old man were standing together uh, on a street corner at 3.48 p.m. Sunday when two men exited a vehicle and fired shots, wounding all three of them. Police say the 27-year-old victim is a concealed carry holder and produced a weapon and fired back, fatally wounding one of the shooters. The other shooter re-entered their vehicle and left the scene. Um, the shooter was shot in the leg and stomach and taken to the hospital, but was later pronounced dead um, in stable condition. Uh, without any more information, we're considering this a uh, defensive firearm use. Um, you know, a lot of people have inclination when it's something like this in Chicago that it's gang violence, so we don't really know. Um, even if it, you know, I think that's something we do on a case-by-case -case basis. So next, man arrested after shooting inside Vista nightclub that injured two. Um, this really doesn't have any defensive gun use in it that I can see, so we're not counting this. So for January 5th, we have one in Illinois. January 6th, Pensacola hotel clerk shoots man in altercation. Uh, Pensacola hotel clerk ended up shooting a man who allegedly lunged at the clerk after causing disturbance in the hotel Saturday morning. Pensacola, Florida, that's one in Florida. There's an update, he uh, will not be charged. So, you know, once again, defensive gun use. Moving over, Shelby Township police investigating shooting between cousins seen under control. This one doesn't have any information over who is an aggressor? Who is a victim? So we're not going to consider this a defensive gun use. Little Rock woman shoots boyfriend after he allegedly beat her. Uh, this is in Arkansas. So man came out with his hands up, placed in handcuffs. Hannah said her boyfriend was beating on her, so he shot him. Good. Jefferson County, Jefferson County deputies, man shot by father while hitting girlfriend with dog chain. Deputies were dispatched and found a man suffering from a gunshot wound to his chest. Police told authorities an injured man was hitting his girlfriend with a dog chain. Witnesses say the father, the man's father, tried to stop the assault and the man threatened to get a shotgun. That's when deputies say the father shot the man. So that's a defensive gun use in Alabama. Um, man shot by armed bystander while robbing Subway pleads guilty. This is on December 12th, so we're not going to count this one. Mark that off. And Coos Bay man holds home burglary suspects at gunpoint after catching them in the act. Two men were arrested after committing a burglary. Um, just after 4.30 p.m., police get a call. Robbery in progress. Reported she and her husband had found two males in a detached the garage of the residence. The call reported her husband was currently holding the two burglars at gunpoint. The caller's husband said he was located a suspect in his garage and verbally gave the commands. They complied and exited the garage and sat down. Someone pointed a gun at you. You do what uh, you do what they tell you. Ooh, one of them was in possession of a controlled substance. Boom. So that is one, two, three, four. Four for January 6th. And for January 7th, family's pit bull shot, killed after clamping down on team's arm. Parents pried dog's jaw apart to free son. Family's pit bull was shot and killed by the dog's owner. Oh, in your own dog. Um, after it said it bit the man's 15-year-old stepson and wouldn't let go. His dog started to fight his other pit bull in the house. Stepson was attempting to break up the dogs and was bitten in his right arm. According to the report, dog wouldn't release. 
hit the dog, poured water in its mouth to attempt to release. Dog did not release. He then shot the dog from a close, close range, killed by gunshot, but still did not release the boy's arm. Oh, then they had to pull it apart. Oh, God. That's horrible. So, defensive gun use, like we said with that in the, uh, in the, the Wildcat a couple days ago, it does always have to be a person. So, one in Florida. One person dead after Pasagonia home invasion. Burglarizing home, home invasion. We got one Mississippi. Monkey Junction homeowner shoots man during break-in. So, North Carolina. Crosby gun shop owner kills burger in shootout. If you're going to rob something, don't rob a gun store. The owner was asleep in his home. Oh, I guess it was his home, not a gun store. Um, when he heard someone breaking into the adjacent combination gun store slash barbershop. Combination gun store slash barbershop. <laughs> get a cut and get a Glock at the same time. Um, went out there, pulling the front door open using car and chains. Yeah, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one's going to hear us. Um, open fire but missed. Owner hid behind a tree and returned fire. And shot the suspect. All right. So that is Texas. Uh, a gun shop in Texas. Missionary detains on burglar. No shots fired. A man who lives south of Maltros faced a scary situation after Christmas. Christmas, it's not counting, but let's read it anyway. Is a missionary and lives at the mountaintop retreat where he also works. He was home with his wife and knew something wasn't right. Let his dogs run into the house where they led him to a young man hiding in a bedroom. Armed with a pistol and it was pointed right at Kenny. He said he's a concealed carry holder and was able to detain the burglar with no bullets being fired. But told us the whole situation could have been avoided. If he had knocked on my door, you know, he would have gotten a meal and he would have gotten a bed to sleep in. And I would have put him in touch with the local sheriff and let him work out. His problems but unfortunately that's not how it worked out but at least he didn't get shot and he didn't shoot me so one two three one two three four i cannot count four for the seventh so here is a map of the defensive gun uses for january 1st 2020 to january 7th 2020 um it's a heat map all these are zero we don't know if they are zero but that's what we're putting when we have no data Otherwise, this map tool kind of gets messed up. Um, so this map tool won't be available, but all the sources will be available down in the description, um, as well as a current tally. We see we have Florida with four, Illinois, Indiana, Texas with three, um, and then California with two. So right now we have a total of 26 cases. That's an average of 3.7 a day. So hopefully we're going to keep this going weekly. Um, we'd love your feedback. Please let me know. If you'd love to support this project, please support me on Patreon. It, it really helps. I'm just a veteran going to school, living off the GI Bill. So it, it's nice, but it'd be nice to have some more and help out with this. So once again, thanks for watching Cheap Shot.